everybody, it's Brian back with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment and interviews some of your favorite artists. And today I have Florian Christia back. And Florian, thank you so much for spending this time with us. Hey, thank you so much for uh, doing what's this part two or part two. continuation. That's right. <laughs> so if he looks familiar, it's because he's Papa Liliac. You guys have yes, seen him. We yes. did an interview. And now we're back here in Pittsburgh. We're seeing you guys again today. It's going to be awesome. So yes. Hi. Yes. Here comes some food. <laughs> so how have things been the last like nine or ten months or so since we spoke? Okay, so basically this is going to be the biggest tour Liliac ever had. Nice. So big time, big time entertainment, one second. Uh, big time entertainment, which is the booking agent for Liliac, had worked very, very hard of tracing a lot of uh, uh, shows for Liliac which this will definitely uh, put the band on the map. Sure, absolutely. Uh, a lot of headlining shows. We have a lot of festivals like uh, and big fairs, Wisconsin, uh, uh, Iowa, the big one in Iowa. There nice. are two shows, they're headlining there. And I just heard today from the booking agent that uh, Dream Theater's booking agent that works with BTE want, loves Liliac and wants to do a whole European tour. No kidding talking about big festivals like so is that 2023 Dallas. they're looking at so probably 2023 we don't know yet because they're still working on it it could be half u.s and half euro oh perfect that'd be awesome but we want to get the album done and released in the springtime at least sure we'll release uh, uh singles probably when we get back because we'll, we already have songs they're writing they just wrote one brand new songs that i love a lot and a lot of people do right before one on tour sam doesn't even have the solo guitar yet but they're performing it, and especially the young generation really love it. It's called Carousel. Okay. So uh, it's it's amazing. Nice. Trying so to get the young generation as well. Absolutely, because you have a, an established fan base now. Yes. So if you can grow that, then sky's the limit. I mean, that's yes, incredible. Yes. And you know, everything they've done so far, we're still getting more fans that loves the '80s music, sure. and '90s, '70s, but now. You know, in the album, they're going to have all varieties of music. They're going to have a few songs that actually, it's how they feel today, how they know. I mean, they kind of grasp the, you know, how, what the young generation like. Sure. So the rhythm, the style, the riff, the melodies, even the lyrics, it kind of speaks to them. Uh, because I know us being old, if you say, I'm spinning like a carousel, like, oh, I can't do the carousel anymore. <laughs> But for young kids, like, yeah, let's go, you know. Hey, Melody, so I was still young. And, so I'll take it. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Oh, well, yeah. So that's how it is. That's fantastic. So as we, I was talking to the band earlier, and one of the things that Sam brought up is he felt like now the production has kind of taken that next step. Well, you know, I, I used to produce a lot of pop music, EDM, hip-hop, when I was in Hollywood. And they were the first that I started producing rock and metal. And from then on, I work with other artists. And so basically, Sam said to me, said, Dad, please, on this next album, put the whole production, all your experience that you have with everything, and let's, let's make it like... So basically, the, even the mixing and the production is going to be bigger, and uh, we're going to use some synths that are going to give that European sound as well. Nice. So besides having the, you know, you know he does all his riffs, you're gonna have, as you could hear on on the Seven Nation Army, you know, the original does not have any synths right. like that. So what it made it special is that we added a synth that plays the riff, and I'm uh, I'm uh, chain compressing that synth to the kick. So every time the kick hits, the synth kind of disappears and comes back on, and it gives you that groove that everybody like, whoa, what is so cool? How does that sound like that? So it's kind of like tricks of the trade that I've, I've learned throughout my whole life experience including and that that makes it more vent metal that we are sure nice now from the perspective of a dad and we talked about this you know nine ten months ago you're seeing them continue to grow get bigger and just not only as a band but continue to grow as people yes so how does that affect you how proud are you to see them continue to grow and stay together oh, and stay yeah. strong I, I mean i'm proud i mean i think any, <laughs> any parent would be proud of seen their kids i mean ethan and justin they're turning 15 and 16 so uh you know, life on the road right <laughs> but i still want my whiskey <laughs> uh so uh, since i moved to the south georgia i never was a fan of whiskey so i have to move georgia and i used to do a live stream with uh, <laughs> with uh, 
uh, Dr. Omeb, my car, uh, he was at the show in uh, Harrison, or yeah. he played the guitar. Yeah. He's a doctor, and we just call it Whiskey in the Jar. So nice. we just have a whiskey and talk to the fans, do a live stream. I became a fan of whiskey, and now I'm like, you know, and, and fans on the road, they give me gifts of bottles of whiskey. And one time I got a, a Bushmill uh, on the last tour. And, you know, I drank it all during the live stream. <laughs> and I was like, I want to buy one. Like, you know, I really liked it, how it tasted. It was a 21 years age. And when I look it up, $260. Holy cow. So, <laughs> you know, but the fans are very... So you're bad. hoping to see that guy again, is what you're saying. <laughs> I, I, wanna, I don't even remember who gave it to me. I'm like, I would have reached out. <laughs> nice. That's... So, yeah, I'm really proud of, of the kids growing sure. as... As being themselves, and a lot of people, what they like about Liliac, they say they're very well behaved. And so I could say that my wife and me did a good job raising them being good kids. I would agree. Because, uh, you know, there's other bands that, you know, they have different kind of attitudes and sure. being, uh, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, they're just being themselves and they just, you know, love what they're doing. Yeah, you've done a great job. I mean, they're, they're great kids to talk to. I've always enjoyed it, so... Yeah. Kudos to you and your wife. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. But it's interesting. Like uh, the three years ago, when the Liliac blew up, Rainbow in the Dark cover song really blew up and got us the whole touring and all the fan base. Uh, I heard, you know, when I saw comments, people saying, "Once you get more popular, you're gonna get a lot of trolls and haters." And and I always said, "Who's gonna fans. who's That's gonna it. hate on kids? Who's gonna say?" And recently, there's people like, that do. It's crazy yeah. how many, like, every post they're spamming and Liliac sucks. They're the worst band and this and that. And it's just, uh, and I guess it's true. Once you yep. get more famous, that comes with it. Well, you know, and that's true. Like Melody said, they're jealous. And that's when you know you've made it. Really? When people will take the time to tell you how bad you are, it's like, yeah, but you still listen. So we caught your attention. And what it is, just like Melody said, there's a lot of people loving it. And they want to try to be that outsider. So that's actually a good thing. Just use it as motivation. Wow. So We're nowhere near that point yet. I've had like some people tell me a song. But maybe I just do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a fun journey. It's, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's a lot of work. Sure. Because that's what I explain to a lot of people that they think touring, you know, that's how you just go and party. And, but it's, we're talking about a lot of times we go on the tour bus to sleep at 2 in the morning after we're done with everything, especially headlining. Sure. You're the last in line, so you have to uh, put everything together. You're tired, and then in the morning, you got to drive another 4 or 5 hours to the next show, so you yeah. got to wake up at 6, so you get sometimes 4 or 5 hours of sleep. Yeah, so it's not all glamour like people think it is. No, especially that we're trying to do everything ourselves, and we don't have drivers that could sleep during the time you know i'm driving the tour bus and yeah. i'm also loading unloading and tour managing and doing all that stuff so i try right once we're done with everything i just go to sleep and then wake up and drive so what helps me stay awake during driving because you know you get sleepy sure i have a secret which a lot of drivers should do sunflower seeds that really helped me really so i yeah for some reason when i when it cracks it just wakes me up and i, I keep doing <laughs> that and it keeps me awake there you go. So there's a tip. If you're there driving you late, sunflower seeds. I didn't know that one. Sunflower seeds. I'm going to get some and keep them in the car just in case. Try it. I've, I've tried coffee. I tried opening the window. I tried slapping my face. And <laughs> nothing really worked like that. And, and I've done 16 hours drive straight just because of the sunflower sure. seeds. Sure. Nice. Now, you had mentioned your podcast earlier where you talked about, yeah, the whiskey. What whiskey is the name of the jar. podcast that people can... Whiskey in the Jar. We do it uh, every Friday night. And sometimes I have coffee in the mug on Saturday with Dr. Omeb. Okay. Uh, you know, we used to do the whiskey in the jar, but, you know, uh, because of his work, he has, like, you know, teaching and stuff. Uh, he couldn't do it anymore. So I just did the whiskey in the jar on Fridays. But when I'm not touring, when I'm touring Fridays, we usually have a show, so I can. Gotcha. So it's on my Facebook page, Papa Luliak or Florian Christia, so they would find me. Awesome. Well, Florent, thank you so much again. It's, it's always great to see you guys. Yeah, and, and I usually have uh, fans come on. They send me friend requests. Okay. You should come on there too. People Absolutely. Love to hear your, uh, uh, you know, and then fans, fans talk about how they discover the band and sure. how, what it means to them to be a fan of Liliac. And, you know, I hear a lot of testimonies how some people say that he saved their lives. Nice. 
you know, either had, they had some loss in their lives and finding a band that, you know, does the music that's young with the energy and yeah. the attitude keeps them going. And it's, it's amazing. That's got to feel fantastic. I know. So I'll get some that's whiskey. That's the best reward. I'll join in. I'll get some whiskey. And... Yeah, we've got to have a whiskey, <laughs> though. So Woodford Reserve is one of the one common that I usually uh, have. It's okay. not that expensive, and it tastes good. It's good. Nice. I really love Brother Bond. There you go. Brothers Bond is from the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> okay. Because, uh, you know, she loves that show. I love that show. Liliac means vampire, uh, uh, bat, and, you know, vampires movies kind of attracted to us. And they have a line of uh, whiskey. I don't know if you've seen the Vampire no. Diaries series. Uh, I've probably seen a, an episode or two, but I don't yeah. really remember much of it. But so the whiskey's good? So the whiskey's good. Actually, we just, uh, I have two more bottles waiting at home. Because <laughs> I think I can't take it on the road because we got to drive and... You know, I'm going to have sense. some now. Because <laughs> tonight I'm not driving. I'm going <laughs> to be on the tour bus. So you're always responsible. That's the of key. Course, always drink responsibly. Be. There's a very uh, valuable cargo on, on Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, Florin, thank you again. This has been awesome. Oh, yeah, man. And thank you for the wines. Last Absolutely. Last two wines. It actually, my wife loved it because it's sweet, and she loves sweet. You know, I think it was wine with honey or yeah. like that. Yeah. It was really good. It was great. Nice. So next time we'll bring you some more. We'll bring you something different. <laughs> Sounds great, man. And thank you for interviewing. Absolutely. Yeah. It's always fun. Is there anything else you'd like to say to fans before we, we sign off? Well, it's going to be an amazing journey, an amazing ride. And I think Liliac is going to blow up bigger and bigger. And that's the whole purpose. And uh, the new music is going to speak for itself. Because at the end of the day, you know, I always tell them songs that speaks to people will drag me no matter what. And, and, you know, I keep saying this, right? Songs. And, and, and so we're writing right now while we're on, on the bus. Sure. And then we already have about 12 songs already, 13 songs. But by the time we get back, if we can have a, at least 30, 40 songs, and then we choose the best, you know, 10, 12 songs. And uh, it's going to be, you know, uh, we're going to have a, a singer that's going to sing with melody like uh, okay. singing and we're not going to uh, reveal the name of the okay. singer. Okay, collaboration, all right. Collaboration that's going to be actually, uh, I mean, some people, close friends heard it and sure. it blew their mind. They said the fans is going to, they're going to, oh, they're going to love it. Like, awesome. It's going to be the best featuring. And then, uh, you know, we're going to have a slow song that is stripped down, just voice guitar, maybe a cello on there, which is going to be amazing. Uh, but Melody wrote it, and I think it's, I call it Lullaby, but I don't know if it is, it's just, and she wants it at the end of the album. But we're going to have some <laughs> heavy songs and some commercial songs. So, you know, we like to kind of mix it up sure. to get everybody in. That's awesome. Can't wait to hear it. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> the best. Well, again, thank you so much. This is a blast. And as always, thank you guys for spending this time with us. We love you all. God bless and rock on. Rock on and rock hard. <laughs>